Alright, hey guys, and yes, I did get a haircut, but I don't think that's relevant at all because today's video is going to be about seamlessly looping tracks inside of Adobe Audition. So yeah, let's get right into it. So have you ever had that moment when you find a track that's like perfect for your video but then next thing you know your video is like 10 minutes long and your track is like 2 minutes long and then you're just like oh man what am I gonna do now? If you have had such moments in your life well then today's video is gonna be very helpful for you. Once you have imported your track into Adobe Audition you wanna choose multi-track right here and you want to click OK. This is going to create a new multi-track session and that's pretty important for this to work. Alright, so once you've opened up your multi-track session, you want to drag your clip onto the timeline and next you want to just click on your clip and you want to go to the properties tab and then you want to go to the remix tab right here and then you want to hit enable remix. Basically, it'll take a few minutes at this point uh, for it to analyze your clip. Okay, so now Audition is done analyzing the clip. So now we need to give it the target duration. So you want to go right here and change the target duration to whatever you want. In this case, the clip is around 10 minutes long. I say we make it around 20 to 30 minutes long just for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to make it like 30. And now you can just drag this so that you can see your entire clip better. It's gonna take a bit of time, a few minutes for it to like change the duration and everything. So yeah, let's just wait for that to happen. And that's essentially it. Now if you look on your um, timeline, you can see these zigzag lines on uh, your track. And that just indicates where the software um, cut those clips and then joined them together and stuff. Uh, it's it doesn't really matter, you don't really have to care about these lines, I just threw that in there just as an extra detail. But yeah, that's essentially it. Now you want to export the file and you want to just go to a uh, file and export and then multi-track mix down and the entire session. And next you want to name it whatever you want. And now let's wait for it to export and that's essentially about it. So I hope you guys liked that video and hopefully you found it useful. If you did, make sure you uh, give this video a like and you might want to check out some of my other videos so yeah, I'll, I'll leave links to those at the end of this video and uh, you might want to smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content just like this. So yeah, uh, that's it.